Heard of Huawei's 5G chip triumph? Join us as we uncover the remarkable journey of China's tech resilience from blockade to breakthrough. Find out how Huawei defied the odds to reshape the global tech landscape. Understanding the Suppression In today's relentless global tech race, China's chip industry stands at a crossroads, besieged by formidable challenges. Foremost among them is the stranglehold exerted by the United States, blocking crucial chip technology. Concurrently, the Netherlands, a key player in semiconductor manufacturing, has banned the export of high-end lithography machines to China. These combined adversities have seemingly forced China into a treacherous path of uncertainty. Huawei's Game-Changing Move Amidst this backdrop, Huawei, the Chinese tech juggernaut, executed an audacious move that left the world astounded. They stealthily unveiled a groundbreaking smartphone armed with the Kirin 9000's chip, leveraging China's cutting-edge 7 nanometer chip technology. The shockwaves rippled through the tech industry, leading experts to speculate that Huawei might have broken the 1,079-day chip blockade, heralding a new era of 5G chip mass production. Unraveling the Motivation The question that looms large is, why did Huawei choose this high-stakes moment to unveil such a game-changing product? To fully comprehend this strategic move, we must unravel the complex motivations behind the relentless suppression of China's semiconductor industry by Western powers. At its core, this suppression is a response to China's meteoric technological rise, leaving the United States wary of its newfound competitor. The Role of Lithography Machines To understand the intricacies of this technological tug-of-war, we must delve into the pivotal role of lithography machines. These machines are the linchpin of semiconductor manufacturing, and the Netherlands has long been a bastion of cutting-edge lithography technology. However, these machines depend heavily on gallium and germanium, scarce minerals predominantly supplied by China. In retaliation to Dutch restrictions, China implemented export controls on these rare minerals, delivering a significant blow to the Dutch semiconductor industry. The United States Vulnerability Moreover, the repercussions of China's actions extend beyond the Dutch borders. Yeah, the United States, despite its global technological dominance, finds itself unexpectedly vulnerable. China's decision to halt the supply of gallium and germanium, materials vital to several key U.S. industries, poses a substantial threat to American technological supremacy. China's Resilience and Growth Ironically, these sanctions and technology blockades have not thwarted China's semiconductor industry. Instead, they have steeled its resolve and fueled its growth. The successful mass production of Huawei's 5G chips is a powerful testament to China's resilience and innovation. It signifies that China has broken free from the shackles of external threats, standing confident on the global stage as a technological powerhouse. A new era for China's chip market Furthermore, the large-scale production of Huawei's 5G chips signifies a significant turning point for the Chinese chip market. It lays the foundation for the construction of a chip market structure that favors China's interests. Over time, Chinese chips have the potential to evolve into dominant players in the field, potentially reshaping the global technological landscape. A Shifting Landscape As China successfully navigates the choppy waters of the chip blockade, the Netherlands has undergone a seismic shift in its stance. ASML, a Dutch lithography machine giant, has made a surprising appeal for renewed cooperation with China. This abrupt about-face raises intriguing questions about the underlying motivations that drive this change in approach. The Dutch Dilemma Alright, understanding ASML's appeal requires a glimpse into the past. Well, the Netherlands had previously, in fact, ceased the sale of high-end lithography machines to China as part of their cooperation with U.S. sanctions. However, this decision proved to be counterproductive, resulting in substantial financial losses. The Netherlands incurred a staggering blow, losing nearly a quarter of its lithography machine order revenue, totaling around $2.5 billion. The Current Scenario Adding to the complexity, the Chinese government's imposition of export restrictions on rare minerals has further strained the situation. This has resulted in a decrease in ASML's annual production of lithography machines, from about 710 units to a reduced number of 690 units. 
Given that the average lithography machine costs $250 million, the implications for ASML's future production are profound. China's Decision Making So the pivotal question now is, how China will respond? Well, the course of action China takes hinges significantly on the Dutch government's approach. Should the Netherlands actively court China, maintaining amicable relations with Western countries, China may continue its patronage of Dutch lithography machines. However, if the Netherlands aligns with Western sanctions against China, ASML could face the grim prospect of blacklisting and severed cooperation. The Bigger Picture In a rapidly evolving global landscape, you see, the lesson here is profound. International cooperation stands as an indispensable imperative. China's journey in surmounting technological blockades serves as a resounding testament that joint sanctions may not always be the wisest course of action. Countries that opt for collaboration with China have witnessed fruitful outcomes, shedding light on a path forward in our interconnected world. Now, the stage is yours. What are your reflections on this ever-evolving landscape of technological competition? Don't forget to subscribe to Futuristic Tech and AI for a continuous exploration of the dynamic global developments shaping our world.